What's up, guys? It's your boy DJ coming at you again. Okay, this is what I got. Bam! Feast your eyes on that. It's my setup. These are two Razor scooter motors, okay? I have a drive motor here, which is connected to the battery. And uh, I have the uh, slave motor here, which is going to be used as uh, as a... Uh, alternator so to speak or generator okay when connected this motor here will spin this up of course and you'll get an output current okay the output current here will go to my battery bank here of four solar cells that I'm using to power my inverter here okay all right there you go will it work and it doesn't have a choice yes it will work it will work um i did not make up this idea of connecting the shafts myself so i can't take full credit for it i saw a guy do it and my imagination went wild <laughs> so to speak but anyway uh at first on the first setup you guys saw i was using a chain this is going to be much more efficient much more safe than using a chain and a smaller you know footprint also which is nice you know, I got it bolted down to the board, as you can see here. Look at that, guys. Got it nice and bolted down. Now, on the final final rendition, it'll be stained, and it will look very pretty. Might even have a glass cover, <laughs> a plastic cover. But this is what I got going on so far. Um, again, so what I did was I spun it up, connected the positive and negative. Of course, it spun up. It's very efficient. I went to check the amperage to see how much power was coming, how many amps were coming out. And it overloaded this multimeter. What does that mean? That means it's putting out sufficient power. Because uh, yesterday I measured uh, spinning up the motor with a drill. And, it, it, you know, at a slow rotation, it came up with like, a, I was able to achieve like 3.3 amps with a variable drill, okay? So that let me know right there that it will work. So this is free energy, okay? How is it free energy? It's free energy because... The drive motor here is going to turn the slave motor here, motor B, which is going to be the alternator or generator, okay? Output current here goes to the battery. So I'm just, all I'm doing is making a s simple loop, you know? Motor A will be powered, no, let me back up for a second. I'm going to have a motor controller, which I already order, ordered two of them. They're coming in, one's supposed to come in tomorrow, one's supposed to come in Wednesday. Well, so it'll be like this. Motor controller will be connected to the power source, okay? The motor will be connected to the motor controller. So I'll have total control over the speed of this drive motor here, okay? So the thing is uh, simply to feed power back into the battery. Now, again, the battery maintainer here only puts out three amps and is able to sustain my setup on a cloudy day. I've only used this uh, a, a battery maintainer here one day out of seven days due to the, you know, it was cloudy earlier this week. I only had to use it one time, which I got up in the morning, saw the battery level was low on my solar controller, connected the battery maintainer, got off work later on that night, and I took it off, and it was fine ever since for seven days, okay? So what's nice is with the motor controller, I'll be able to be able to control, to totally control how many amps are being put back into the battery to maintain it. Okay, it won't, ha it won't it will not have to be a high rotation because I did a test with it with the drill and it was very low rotation, which means low heat, which means safety. You know, these motors won't have to run at a high level to maintain these uh my 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 solar bank. Okay, now let me check it out. Let you guys check it out to see how it uh, rotates, how efficient it sounds. Okay, as you can see, it's connected to the board, so. So what I did was, a few minutes back, I tested the output current and it overloaded my meter. Okay, why did it overload the meter? Because I have no motor controller, but the motor controllers are on the way. Okay, so you can see right there, guys, just operating off that little 12-volt battery. 
Okay. If you don't think it'll work, leave some comments. But it, it cannot not work is what all I'm saying. The free energy setup, it cannot not work simply because that battery is huge there. It's going to power this motor. You know, uh, with the motor controller, you can, I'll be able to dial, see that speed right now? I'll dial it way back. And uh, be able to control the output so it doesn't overcharge the battery. But then again, the solar controller here will determine how much power actually gets into the uh, into the, uh, the the batteries too. Because what what happens is it will not let this overload the batteries, which is kind of nice. So that keeps a little safety there. But there you go, guys. See that it works. Again, I'll have it dialed down to where it's only pushing in like two and a half to three amps into the battery. Therefore, it will not take too much power out of the battery because it is going to be, you know, I have to have my drive motor being powered off of that. And that'll be my loop. And that should be free energy. Free energy by me, by, what I mean by that is to maintain the battery that in my solar uh, panels on top of the roof. <laughs> you can see I got it coming through the roof there of the garage. And there you go. All right, guys. I'm excited. I'll be real excited to get the uh, motor controller in hopefully tomorrow or, or by Wednesday. I got two of them ordered and get this going. So uh, you know, I can get through my first week of operation, which will be a beautiful thing. And what's cool is uh, using these motors it's very low, the heat will be very low that will be produced by these motors, which will be very interesting, you know, because that keeps everything safe, because these motors will not have to, right now they're balls all out right now, you know, I don't have any control over the speed, but with the motor controller, I'll be able to dial it way down, they'll run super cool, no danger of burning up or a house fire or anything like that. All right, guys. I think I explained myself pretty good in that. Later.